Hey guys, Chris at Rockford Ordnance. I've got Jake here from Two Fat Tactical. If he ever gets his ass, Get together. Mo his ass moving on his videos, yeah. uh, he'll have a pretty cool channel. But uh, with ammo things the way they are, not being able to find it, uh, it being very expensive. To, if you haven't looked at 9mm lately, you might fall out of your chair. But I figured we might as well do a video uh, on some guns that are a little more readily available and ammo is usually cheaper nobody ever does videos on them uh -huh. and they're kind of fun right so it's pocket guns that's what we're doing it on the nice thing is you don't need any gun cases you can carry everything on you even let's see extra ammo it's cheap now granted it's more than this. I bought this back when it was $2.40 a box. I'm just going to pull some stuff out here. We'll start here. This is a little, I'm going to move in so you can see it. This is a little Colt Derringer uh, 22. You put it on half cock, you break it open, and it's a 22. Single shot, cock it back and go. It sometimes takes a couple hits to get it to go. It'll fire shorts, long rifles, all kinds of stuff. And uh, they were kind of meant, I guess, as real guns. They'll fire. But uh, more of maybe a desk piece or display piece. Um, some of them have steel liners in the barrels. This one doesn't. They're zinc barrels, so they're not blued. They're coated. And uh, a few shots and is all it takes and the rifling's pretty much gone out of them. But they're fun to mess around with. Now I did discover one little thing about this little Colt and that is this. You break the barrel open and when you go to load it got some uh, Colt, uh, or not Colt, but uh, 22 long rifle. It only takes shorts. So I don't think I have any shorts with me today but uh, yeah. Now I kind of remember, I've had this thing for a long time, so I kind of remember now that that's all it took. But then I got, let's see, what else do we got here? I got all kinds of stuff. Oh, this one happens to be Jake's, and you got one too, don't you? Yeah, Somewhere? Oh, hold on. He's got, a, he's got a pair of these. Now they look like that little Colt I've got, but when I picked them up, it was crazy. I'm like, wow, these things are heavy and really, really nice quality pieces. Solid brass. This thing is like milled out of one piece of brass. It functions the same way. Funny thing is, on the side here, it says black powder only. So I get to looking at it, and he says they're 22s. I said, well, it says black powder. He says, yeah, someone changed them. If you look, there's a steel liner in the barrel. I can't quite tell looking down it quickly if they're rifled, but it seems like it. The guy he got them from supposedly said that they're uh, been converted over. They've got these faux ivory handles and they weigh a lot. I don't know if they were black powder originally and this was the rod. Does the rod come out of them or unscrew? Yeah, it, it's tough to get out, but it does come out. All right, anytime you're All ready. Right, so we're going to pop off around to this little uh, black powder. Where's 22. that made? Philippines? Philippines. And what's it called? Um, it says on Shooter's it. Arms Manufacturing. What? Shooter's Arms. Huh. Well, let's see how it works. Let's see if I hit the broadside of a barn. Nice. That'll do. Wow. <laughs> Let me show you this, guys. Point and shoot. We're, uh, I don't know, 10 yards. There you go. Not bad. So anyhow, um, yeah, there's some more. Uh, just fun little things to play with and keep in your pocket. So, we're going to try a little trick shootery here. Place the golf ball atop our target over here. I'm about 10 yards with my little uh, pocket 22. Let's see how uh, close we can get. Shit, I'll bet lunch on that one. I ain't, you ain't hitting that one. Hold on, let me zoom in on this sucker. All right, go. Miss. 
this. <laughs> they even come close. See what else I got here. I'm going to back up so you guys can see. Oh, there's one. It's got its own little holster, little western holster. This is a North American Arms and it's a 22 revolver. Next up is our little uh, North American Arms here. Let's see how this does. Hard to get a grip on this one. So there you go. I don't know that I hit any more than one shot with that one, but uh, fun little gun. I, maybe when I check the video, I think you can see that thing wanting to rock up on me. It's uh, hard to get a real grip on this thing, but interesting little gun, none the same. Tiny little thing. They even make a belt buckle it can clip into. Uh, this one's loaded right now and it's just a single action you cock it for every shot it holds five shots you pull the rod out cylinder drops out and you put five shells in there and nice little gun fires every single time uh, it's kind of hard to aim and i guess once you got that down it probably wouldn't uh, be all that bad but it's definitely what i call a belly gun you know three four feet away what else you got got a 38 oh. special can consider that a pocket gun right a little 30 in my pocket <laughs> a little 38 snub that's a smith uh, air weight or air light yeah yep that's a nice little gun i like the hammer on it show them the hammer on that or kind of lack thereof it's like a hammerless feature but it's got just enough knurling to grab it with your thumb and cock it back Pretty right, cool. So this is the 38, the Airweight. Smith and Wesson, right? Smith and Wesson. Okay, this is its virgin run, so bear with me. Uh, more of a real gun, you know, that'll pack a little punch and uh, work for self-defense. Let's see. Oh, what's that? This oh. is the Taurus Spectrum. All right, so we got two little 380s here, the Bodyguard Smith & Wesson and the Taurus Spectrum. And we're going to see how these things run. You, Jake, why don't you go first? Both 380s, both six shots, or six plus one. You gotta get on camera. <laughs> Back up, fatty. That's what, 380? 380. Those are very inexpensive, right? 174 bones. There you go. That's um, it. 380 and they function flawlessly it's double action uh, if for whatever reason it didn't fire you can hit it again and uh, they just work and it fits in your pocket yeah and they come in all kinds of cool colors too. oh yeah what else do we got this oh look at this I love this gun this is an Ivor Johnson it's a 22 and uh, it just looks like a little uh, James Bond gun or something you know all right, we've got our little Ivor Johnson 22 automatic here. Let's see how this sucker works.
ran them all there. It wasn't feeling like the slide was uh, going all the way forward because it was catching my hand here. So uh, I checked it there real quick. I'll show you what that looks like over here on the target. Not too shabby. I was kind of, you know, just half aiming because I was worried about that slide and there you go. And that yep. also acts as a safety. It, it actually, it blocks the hammer is what it does. Um, typical heel mag release. Holds uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think seven or eight, seven plus one. All right, we're going to give this one a try again and uh, not let my hand get in the way here. We've got uh, six in the mag, one in the chamber. Got to adjust my grip here, not get up as high on it. Running like a champ. And uh, I've shot this the other day. I was shooting. I've had it a long time. And uh, it functions okay with, with hotter ammo. Comes down kind of like a macker off or whatever. You just pull that down, put it to the side, and then pull the slide off fixed barrel. Uh, straight blowback design. Just nice little gun. All right, Jake's going to give this one a run. The Ivor Johnson. She barks from over here. It's different than being behind a gun, that's for sure. Somebody just lost a piece. Did I? Yeah. Uh-oh. What, ejector? Yeah. Something came popping out. Well, let's see. So, guys, I'm going to show you what this thing did here. It There's a little pin, and it worked its way up and let the ejector fly with the shell. You can see the spring is still in there and the pin's still there I just pushed it back down but the ejector flew with it and uh, yeah trying to find it in this grass is uh, well lots of luck if we find it we'll let you know it'll be a miracle it's a shame it was running so good too uh, let me see if I still have anything else here you got anything? the SIG ah. Mosquito 22 all right, Jake's got the Mosquito here, the Sig Mosquito. This is really a nice pistol. Wait till you see this. <laughs> Not bad. Gun's been sitting for a while, that's all. Yeah, I've come to find that Certain ammo does not eject smoothly out of this gun. No, yeah. but seem to run pretty darn good there. Nine Let's out of ten will work. Load her up and do her again. All right. These guns are they even making those no, anymore? Sig They're making them. The per people that made that gun for Sig um, are still making it, I think, but mm. it's not under the Sig name, right? No, nope. It's not stamp Sig. But. It's, uh, I can't remember who else makes it now. Super but. German company maybe yeah. or something, but super reliable gun, accurate, fun to shoot. Uh, it acts and feels like a a, a real semi-automatic, you know, so yeah. to speak. And it's pink. <laughs> so he likes pink and red. What can I say? It's fine. Here's one of my EDCs. Let's see how the Smith works. This has got the uh, laser too. You just turn it on here. And it's nice and bright in the daylight. Although it helps if I take the safety off. Hot little gun with some snap to her, that's for sure. 
species. Um, in the summer, uh, late spring, early fall, when it's hot out and I'm at work and I don't want to carry a full-size gun uh, inside the waistband, I'm just wearing a dress shirt or something like that, um, and I don't want it to show, I throw this in my pocket. It's a little uh, Smith & Wesson bodyguard. It's one of the early ones. When they first came out, and everybody wanted one you couldn't find one and they were going like over 500 bucks or something i actually got it used and uh i think for just under five but i've had it for years it works great i uh use hornady critical defense in there and uh it's a nice little pistol it's got the laser and i carry it in this pocket holster and yeah, it goes with me everywhere, cargo shorts, anything at work, dress pants, and you never know it's there. Um, fabulous little gun. I don't know if I'm out here, if I got any more. Yeah, I'm out. Oh wait, I got one more. Oh wait. Now this isn't really a pocket gun, although it fits in the pocket of these pants. But this is a 22 uh, Heritage, single action. Okay guys, we've got our heritage here, uh, 22 long rifle. Let's see how this does. Well, that's the, not the gun, guys, that's the ammo. So we'll reload it with some different stuff. It's one thing you always gotta kinda put up with with these is, you know, not all 22 ammo is made the same, that's for sure. And I've been meaning to do a video on these because they are, so I bought this because it was so damn cheap. Um, these things, you can find them on sale for sure under 200 bucks. Uh, usually maybe 150, 160, and it's 22 long rifle. You can buy them sometimes with, uh, they come with two cylinders. One will be a 22 Magnum. Uh, this one is not, but uh, fun gun to shoot, always works. Uh, I think it's a six shot. And you load it through the side gate here. You put it on half cock and load it just like a Colt. The safety, it has a safety unlike a Colt, where it's just a hammer block essentially. So you can drop it and it will just drop on the uh, uh, hammer block. Comes with these nice rosewood grips and really a nice shooter. Alright, let's give this Heritage another run. That's that Winchester Super X ammo. It's kind of old, but we'll see. Should be fine. And she ran it all just fine. To unload this, guys, we just take it to half cock. We open the gate and use the ejector rod here. And that's all she wrote. Some states don't uh, allow the sale of these because I think it has something to do with the barrel not being steel or parts of it not. Uh, the barrel steel, the frame I think is like a zinc or something and they consider that a Saturday night special. I know Illinois does, maybe a few other states, so you can't buy them there. But uh, in our state of Wisconsin you can, I know in Florida you can because my dad liked it so much he got one. They come in all different barrel lengths. The 22 mag is really fun. Uh, you can order the cylinder separate for maybe 30 bucks. And uh, I just thought this would be good, although it's not really a uh, pocket gun. Uh, it's a fun gun to shoot, cheap. If you don't want to burn through a lot of your expensive ammo right now, 
these are all good examples of what way to go and go out and have fun. And hey guys, so thanks for coming with us and checking out these little pistols. You know, in a time when ammo prices are crazy, uh, I was on Gun Broker the other day doing a lot of reloading and looking for some primers. <laughs> Thousand primers going for, you know, $160, $200, a box of nine millimeter going for $50, $80 for no name brand stuff. It's crazy, guys. So if you want to get out and have some fun, you know, pull out some of that stuff from the back of the safe that you haven't shot much, that's cheap to shoot, and might not be a go-to defensive weapon should you need it and you don't want to burn the ammo. Grab some of that stuff that rarely gets attention, take it out and have a good old time. You discover some things, you have fun, uh, something breaks, you fix it. Uh, whatever it may be, you sight it in, something you didn't get a chance to do and just forgot about it. Whatever it is, whatever that weapon is, that pistol, that rifle, that shotgun, whatever it may be, take it out and have fun. Hey, it was great getting together with our friend Jake. He's one of my best buddies. He's just a hard working dude and he's got a channel called Too Fat Tactical. Uh, he hasn't got it up and running yet, but He's working on it one of these days, and uh, I'm sure there'll be some good and funny stuff going on there. He likes uh, to add a little comedy to uh, our hobby, so it should be pretty cool going forward. Uh, thanks, as always, you know, with your help on Facebook and Instagram. Check it out. We're posting some pictures. I don't give it as much attention as I should, but uh, we're trying hard. Check out our Patreon, guys. That would be wonderful if you could go on Patreon. You get some benefits to it, too, so check it out, and it would always help us out. We've got some neat stuff coming. Uh, we brought you that video from TDI Arms with some of their stuff, and I'll show you here at the end uh, us just running another mag through that gun to break it in. We're going to really be running it hard in a couple videos coming forward, so watch for that. Uh, Again, thanks for everything, guys, and as always, Rockford Ordnance out. So, guys, here it is. We brought you the video the other day of the TDI Arms parts we put on here, the TDI Arms M-Lock uh, handguard, and their modernized Russian grip. It's very similar to what they put on the mallets, and uh, if you like that kind of grip, it's got a long angle here that gives you a lot of uh, lift and control on the gun and uh, you know I love these handguards so we're gonna do a little shooting here just run a mag through this thing and uh, see how it feels <laughs> 